Hi, class of 2023 parent. I just want to remind you or let you know that a week from Sunday, we'll have one of our last, maybe our last, um, online virtual class of 2023 meeting. We hope to get in person again real soon and be streaming online. But this one is totally online and it's going to cover some very important topics that I really need you to come out for. And I'll send you an email about it real soon. Uh, but there's one area that I won't cover as much there that I still am greatly concerned about, and that is the cost of college. I'm watching where my seniors from this year go to school, and I'm hearing, you know, what happens with ones from two years ago and now, and in fact, over my 20 years. And there's three types of affordability problems of parents that I really, uh, that really bother me this time of year. And one of them is, the first one is, is when we have a situation where a student has really high grades, like straight A's or very close, and a high SAT score, and yet the college that they pick, they owe thirty, forty, and fifty thousand dollars. And that, to me, I've never understood how that happens. And it only happens because uh, families are unwilling many times to look at schools that are great schools but leverage or use those high grades in an extremely advantageous way for the, for the family. So I really want you, if your student has straight A's or really close, you know, like a 3.8 unweighted, you know, and above. And if you have a really decent SAT score, I'd say even of 11 or 1200 and above, and certainly if it's 13 or 14, really, 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 really get with me and find out the affordable schools. There's so many great schools um, that are highly ranked that you aren't gonna pay much for school, comparatively speaking, maybe less than 20,000 or 15,000 for a private school. So I, I get really concerned when I see people picking schools, ends up costing 40, 50, 60,000 for one family two years ago. All right, the second group that I worry about are those families that don't make a lot of money. And your choices to get schools that are no cost are very wide. All the CSUs, all the UCs, practically nothing out of pocket. And many private schools in the LA area and across this country that are, that maybe you're not thinking about because you'd rather go somewhere else. But when your parents don't make a lot of money, students, and parents, when you don't make a lot of money, uh, you've got to get off this thing of looking for the school your student wants you know, um, but what they would like to have, what they deserve and get into, you deserve a retirement. And you deserve not to be in a lot of debt, frankly. You don't need to be in that uh, situation at all uh, when you're dealing with college affordability. So the first group was those who have super high grades and SAT scores. You don't have to pay a lot for college. Just get with me and get the right schools on your list. And then those who don't make a lot of money that are, say, under 40000 a year, under 50000 you can go to CSU, UC for almost nothing out of pocket in many private schools. Uh, the third group that, that concerns me in this affordability area um, are people who, who can be of any, many different income levels, but your students or you have locked in on a particular kind of school. And a lot of times when you do that, you're not able to compare the different financial aid bids, if you will. I know they're not really bids, but you know what I mean. And pick the one that's best for your budget. You've locked in on a certain school. Like you may have locked in on HBCUs, which are a good choice for a lot of students. But if they don't have the grades to get a super high merit award, you're still going to be paying a lot of money for college. Uh, that's just one example. But watch for early lock-in that we're definitely gonna to go to a certain school. And I and almost always, it definitely costs a lot of money. I'm seeing that again this year with my seniors. And then I have some people that have already come to me and said I was right and they're bringing their kids home because of the amount of debt they had from two to three years ago that were on my program. And, I, and it's something I talk about quite a bit. All right, parents, I hope that helps those three groups. Um, I hope that really helps you to think about uh, the right choice for your student's college, uh, that it be affordable by you, and that there be alternatives that are affordable on their college list. God bless you. Thank you very much, parents. Bye-bye now.